I still believe in our city. It really is a statement that I'm putting up with these guardians who are strong and resilient and hopeful in the face of these horrible attacks against our community. It is a public art series created in partnership with the New York City Commission on Human Rights to address the anti-Asian bias and hate crimes that have been on the rise as of late. I'm Amanda Pingpodipakia. I'm a Brooklyn-based multidisciplinary artist, and my work makes the invisible visible. Today we're in the financial district installing these new panels for I Still Believe in Our City. We see these figures depicted larger than life. And what they do is they lift us up. They hold our community and they say, despite what we've been through as Asian Americans and as New Yorkers, we're still here fighting every day for our shared future. You know, I think what's great is that everybody who passes by these women can see a little bit of themselves. Yeah. We all have stories from our youth of being subjected to various forms of Asian American racism. We've also seen in the past year kind of powerful movements like the Black Lives Matter movement where we've been in solidarity and in coalition with different communities throughout the city to fight against anti-black racism. Now we're talking about anti-Asian racism. New York City, because of its diversity, I think is a city where we want our different communities to be standing up for each other in solidarity. Physical attacks and verbal assaults against people of Asian descent around the world has increased during the COVID-19 pandemic. The United Nations, since its beginning, has fought against racism and racial discrimination, specifically with Universal Declaration of Human Rights. In the United Nations Office for the High Commissioner for Human Rights is fighting against racism, discrimination, xenophobia, and fighting for minorities and indigenous peoples as well. Now we are in my installation called May We Know Our Own Strength. This installation is a second body of work that I'm developing in partnership with the New York City Commission on Human Rights. It was inspired by a watershed moment of AAPI youth sharing their stories of sexual assault and gender-based violence. In this installation, I invite all New Yorkers, actually anyone anywhere, to submit through an online portal, mayweknow.nyc, their stories, their sins, secrets, and suffering. And I will take this pooling mass of anger and loss and grief and pain and weave it into hanging paper sculptures into this space. This is a, a message received yesterday. I am a survivor of sexual abuse. My older male cousin molested me when I was 12. What makes this even more complicated is that he is from the AAPI side of my family, so I often find myself struggling to accept that the source of my connection to this beautiful community also contains my greatest wound. I think this submission is so powerful because, you know, like healing from trauma, there's such a mix of pain and grief, but also hope. Art can be such a powerful way to access your own humanity. I think we see atrocious human rights violations happen because folks have shut the door on their own humanity. Art can really be a way to, to bring your humanity back home. <laughs>